walk around video for our Honda CRV. As you can see, it's in metallic black with the 18 inch alloys. You've got Michelin tyres on the front. All the wheels look to be in good condition as they usually are with these high profile sort of SUV tyres that get fitted. Uh, Bodywork really nice and straight throughout. No big dents or dings or scratches to point out. And you've got Toyo tyres on the back, so premium brand tyres all round. You've got the rear parking sensors there. That one, the paint has worn away a little bit. Um, I'm always loath to paint them myself, if, especially if they're working properly, which these are, just in case it messes them up. So I'm going to leave that, and, and that's a uh, aesthetic choice that you can make when you've got the car. But at the moment, everything's working exactly as it should, except for whatever reason, the black has worn off of that one. All right, there's uh, quite a lot going on in here. So various levels of coverings and shelves and whatnot so that one moves in and out these three you unclip from the headrest supports and they can all go back and forth independently and then you've got another shelf here that folds up and gives you access to the main section of the boot obviously all this is removable if you don't want any of that in there and you just want the space you can take it all out but it's nice to have it all there because this sort of thing cost a fortune if you want to get it yourself afterwards on ebay or whatever they, they really hold a premium for some reason that 12 volt point in there so we'll try and do all this with one hand see if we can there we are uh, space saver spare wheel and there's your jack and your tools in there the locking wheel nuts inside the car i'll show you that when we get to it Tires are matching, same as the uh, driver's side, so Toyo on the back and Michelin on the front. Got the indicators in the wing mirror there. So you've got a headlamp washing system. I'll show you the headlights there, they're not the Xenon type, they're just the regular halogen ones. It's got front parking sensors as well, okay, so front and rear sensors. Take a look inside now, start at the back. So electric windows, speakers for the rear passengers. As you can see it's a leather and suede, it's actually a brand name suede, it's Alcantara. So it's not in the photos I was just taking, I noticed it looks striped because this is the pattern for when the valeters do it, but I mean, if you rub that, that pattern disappears straight away. It's very difficult to photograph and make it all look like it's flowing the same way. So this isn't dirty. It just needs, well, it doesn't need it. It's uh, just any time someone sits in it or moves it, obviously the pile gets moved the other way. rear airbags the middle seat is a three point that comes out of the roof there so that clips over into that one if you're not using the middle seat you can have this armrest with the cup holders built in huge leg room in this one uh, yeah really big actually magazine holders I'll show you around the other side in the back it's going to be much the same obviously but just uh, Got the full picture. Again, just showing you that striping is not permanent. So you've got some side airbags in the front of the side seats side of the front seats even got that wrong uh, passenger airbag over here got sort of two glove boxes if you like this upper one I'll try and do this with one hand little button there and that's your USB input for your audio so you can lay your device on there and then the, the regular glove box if you like is there so 
locking wheel nut is present along with the owner's manuals in the original wallet. We'll go around and look at the controls from the driver's side now. Okay, electric windows all round. Electric mirrors. These are power folding ones as well. Let me do that, you can see them working. Working perfectly. Uh, button down there just to turn your traction control off. Right, it's come into us with two keys, both the original Honda remote locking types. Windscreen wiper controls there. And your lighting and indicators there. That's the headlight washers that I showed you earlier. And that's the button if you wish to turn your parking sensors off. mileage as it sits there today is 94,578. It's a multi-function steering wheel. So you've got your audio controls over this side, your cruise control over this side, you've got your airbags here, and then this is for your onboard computer. So that screen there, you can cycle through all the different menus available with those buttons. Uh, there's your head unit. So FM and AM radio, the auxiliary, like I mentioned, is the USB that's located in there. I wouldn't say that's got Bluetooth, I think it's the ones with the, the sort of touchscreen that have Bluetooth, from my experience. Dual zone digital climate control, six speed manual gearbox, traditional handbrake, not an electronic type, cup holders, Heated seats for the front passengers. I've got this on and it's working perfectly. Little cubby hole there. And a little storage area here. It's got a sort of floating shelf that you can move back and forth there. You've also got some additional side curtain airbags just up there on the A pillar. And then your usual illuminated vanity mirrors there. And the rest of your interior lighting controls are there. Right, I think I've covered everything that I can see in here, um, but I appreciate there might be a feature that you're looking for that I haven't covered. If that has the, if that is the case, um, just give me a bell and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I'm going to include a load of pictures of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork we get. Uh, so it should give you a really good idea of what the car is like in real life, if you want to get it delivered or something like that. Or obviously you're welcome to come and view the car in person. Okay, thank you very much for watching.